So first, give biggest round of applause for your own self that every one of you have taken that one little step ahead, a serious decision to change the current situation of the life. So please give a big round of applause for your own self. Good. Okay. Uh, who, who all are there who is first time attending the system? You can raise your hands. Okay. And now, anybody else here? No. So, Dina, welcome on board. Welcome to the family. Uh, Okay, so as always, um, you know, we start our Sunday with few good things. So I would like to really ask everyone to first of all, keep all your stress, worries, everything aside for another one and a half hours or two hours. Okay, this one and a half hours, two hours, what you're going to give it here, it's your personal time. So let's make justice for this one and a half hours or two hours, okay? And that will happen when we keep everything aside and be your 100%. Deal? Deal? Okay. So first thing, everyone have mobile, Apple, Android, all everything. Can you all take out your mobiles and switch it off? Put it on aeroplane mode. Just stay away from that device for another few hours. Very, very important. It happens, right? This device, one notification distract us and take us to different thing. We take the mobile just to see what has come on a WhatsApp. And then what happens? It takes to the Instagram, it takes to the Facebook, it takes to the reel and then goes on. So it is a big distraction and we don't want to have this device coming in place in growth. So keep the phone aside, switch it off completely. Done? Yes. Done? Or my upline always says, give your phone to your partner, to your next person who is, who is there. Then, you know, we'll not have any feeling of checking the phone. Okay. Now why to switch off the phone? Maybe you have control on yourself. You will, you have yourself disciplined. You will not check mobile, but you know what? If it pings or if it notification happens, you don't know what is next person. How much focused is that person? It might get distracted to the learning of other person. Agree. So we don't want to become a culprit in any, any other person's uh, learning. So keep the mobile away for some time. Now I want everyone to close the eyes. Just relax, just relax, close your eyes and focus on your breath. Take one deep breath, hold, release. Another deep breath, hold, release. Another deep breath, hold, 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 release. Now open your eyes and give a beautiful smile to each other. <laughs> Feels better? Yeah. So you know the last breath, I said two to three times hold it. Was it easy to hold it for a long time? It wasn't, right? This is what exactly happens with our mind. If we don't open our mind and release whatever is accumulated, we won't be able to take it what is meant for us to be get delivered here. So that's the reason today is one of the bestest moment. And it's, it's extremely a privilege for me to stand here and introduce to all of you you know, someone who I always look up to. When I started this journey, I think he was the first face who I seen here in UAE, the way he have grown and the way he helped us growing, it's still with us. So I really, really don't want any one of us to miss even a single minute because 
you know it's it's my privilege to talk about him and you know i always waited for this moment that you know when when it will come because there is so many things to talk about him but i know i don't have so much of time and i'm not so sure if i'll be doing a justice by talking about him he is someone who who is epitome of success in his past avatar in his past corporate career he had one of the dream career you know where everybody dreams of he was a regional head a creative director in a media and advertising industry it's one of the prime luxurious and high end corporate industry is media advertising he is somebody who used to head the regions and by his you know simple small little things he climbed up his career ladder in a very fast pace you know why not because of the industry because of media advertising industry not because of his title because of what he is as a person because of his go getter attitude because of his goal oriented attitude he climbed his career ladder he reached to a corporate ladder he became a area vp area director he was somebody in his corporate career as a jury which is prestigious award you know that background when he comes from when i seen him first time he was for me there oh wow he is such a big person in a corporate career i'm going to learn a lot of things but you know what when he when i started working with him in the business that time i understood how did he make it happen and that was one thing i learned from him that it is not a industry it is not anything which makes somebody successful it is a person it is a attitude a go getter attitude he is someone who i have seen here in uae growing multiple markets you talk about us you talk about uk you talk about india you take a globe put a finger he have a, he had builded that market in the business he is someone who did this from his heart you know i still remember if i am stuck somewhere he i can just call him any time and he is there there are few things which i cannot see with my own eyes but he had already seen it you know we i'm sure uh, who all have spent more time in the business knows our appliances are always giraffe right and i have experienced that with working with him closely it's my privilege that he is my working appliance uh, who helped me to groom and talking about him he is someone who is a core team of everything whatever happens in infinity he is someone who is a core team of our upline vp kavita you know we talk about ranks we talk about camps and i learned from my upline that what is rank and what is camp he is someone who made me and my team experience and showed it as a lead by example that where ranks takes us and how camps takes us he is somebody who taught me that focus on rank and focus on camp i managed to do that or i managing to do that not yet reached mm -hmm. but he is someone if yeah, any drive is there he is somebody who qualifies it first Wait. because he is someone who walks the path he is somebody who will drive who will go all the way and go and help the the newest ir in the business you know we talk about sapphire you talk about platinum you talk about diamond you talk about blue diamond he is someone who i always look up to and holding his hand and going ahead and achieving achieving those milestones in the business is one of the greatest blessings what i have and and today we all are all are blessed to have his time today one thing i can tell you trust me if you don't flick or if you don't keep your mind away from here today when you go out inside your some interior must will get changed for sure something you will take and you will understand ki, okay why i am here so you know if i talk i mean for me to talk about him is going to take two and a half hours but yes i don't want to take his valuable time as well yeah 
so uh, can so i hope everybody is ready to receive ready yes. okay so we can't call him like this guys we need a biggest round of applause for him because he is my applied he is someone who has to come here so help help you know what we the more the more loudest we are we are giving a sign to universe that i am ready to receive what is going to get delivered from him okay whatever is our goal maybe f2 or 10 uvs 5 uvs whatever it is 100 uvs today is a day you are going to get it how i am going to achieve that whatever is a dream what how i am going to achieve it from here so don't ever miss it right that's it we can be more louder okay help me my welcome my offline mac thank you brand she has worked with and she's been invited in many forums as a speaker quite a known face in hospitality industry still doing our business good so can you clap for her yeah. okay so a lot of people you'll see here who don't need a business but they're still here actually good no why huh <laughs> why so you don't need to do this business when you need it you should do this business when you don't need it when do you need to start you need to start this business when you don't need it It's because you never know when you will need it yes or no good so uh, it's me again <laughs> yeah. so you're going to spend you're going to bear me for next one hour again one hour one and a half hour how much time we have one and a half hour okay good so we're going to spend some time chit chatting okay talking to you all uh good morning <laughs> so how many people have just started like she just uh, can you just uh clap for her she just started yesterday okay uh, who else started listen anyone who's attending here for the first time no one right okay good so all the old people okay as an old in the sense how many people like sometime i met that guy like how many how many uh, like who are the old people and the guy puts up the hand I like how many days um uh, 3 months i said not bad <laughs> So three months you're already old in the business. Yes or no? It's true. Yeah, we do twenty years and hundred days. Yes or no? And then, you agree? Yeah, already old in the business. <laughs> okay. So we spoke a lot about uh, you know my journey last time. Uh, now coming from as I always said, I'm not outsider. I'm not a speaker. I'm one of you. I started just like this in UAE, sitting here right on this chair. By God's grace, I had wonderful upline who trusted me, who pushed me, who kicked me, okay, <laughs> who made my life miserable but made me successful. <laughs> okay, so if you have upline who just pushing you, you are lucky. Okay, so anybody has that upline who keeps pushing you, huh? okay sometime you know there are men who are networkers okay and if they have a lady applied okay like for shankar you know shankar sitting here now he is applying with dipti so shankar's wife will complain you listening to dipti madam but you don't listen to me ha huh? <laughs> this happens <laughs> okay so my wife is to complain a lot you know you you don't listen to me but you listen to vc puja i said of course <laughs> that's my plan <laughs> you know so we end up listening everything to our plan you know whatever they say make sense 
she's immediately looking at him what happened ha ah, okay <laughs> okay so so because that's the only way you grow here because you always know you need someone to guide you okay you need someone who can mentor you who can someone who don't allow you to do the mistakes you yes know like you have a how many people have kids like toddler in the house toddlers like child you, you know that no so how are you all the time you just okay is he running around here you know i i hope you don't get hurt i hope you don't get hurt that's the only thinking right you yes know so you keep telling your kid what not to do in the house you yes know whole day like 90% what you tell your child what do you tell your child what not to do yes or no because what to do they know right <laughs> yes or no they know more what not to do you keep you have to keep telling them why why so that they don't fall they don't get hurt yes or no but sometimes it's a permanent damage yes or no correct and that's the reason we keep telling our child the reason why your upline keeps telling you don't do this don't do this don't do this don't do this and you like hello i'm a manager in the company 50 people report to me yes or no why are you telling me this <laughs> you know enough agree it's okay that's a heart of applying you know you when i say doesn't matter how much you are grown for a mother you are still a child yes or no your yeah, amma like i'm like hello she will still whack you at this age also right <laughs> because doesn't matter how much you have grown for your mother you are still a kid same thing with your upline doesn't matter how much you have grown in this business tomorrow you become even a v council your avp upline will still consider you as a hello listen don't do this <laughs> yes or no huh good but you are blessed to have this system which none other than adatoshri has created correct which is which is servant leadership which is in service which is all about being there on ground level to help others yes or no imagine what would have happened if there is nobody to guide us it's crazy right yes or no so now let's come to uh, the discussion so of course i come from the background of uh, media and advertising uh, as i told you last time also uh, i was i was growing not because uh, i was intelligent i was growing because i had no money simple <laughs> simple you know so i was running crazily in my corporate just to make more money yeah i was making sure uh, i get my new designation new positions okay crazily so that i can more, make more money and when i saw the financial plan here i was like wow there is more money simple so there was no conflict in my head you know there is no conflict there was no conflict in my head why i should be here are we clear because if tomorrow if you come to ue and if you are passionate about your job okay and if your employer don't give you salary will you work will you work three months they don't give you salary what will you do you leave the job so are you passionate about your industry or passionate about the money simple i am a passionate about my my career is my passion agree then go to work without salary for three months is it okay what do you think a passion the most passionate guy sitting behind <laughs> will you work without money No, <laughs> no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Correct? From the similar field, no. All the field of creativity, art, no. Without money, no, I cannot work. Meaning, what am I passionate about? Of course, I'm passionate to work, but money is the first thing. Yes or no? Yeah. So, at some time, we have to accept the first step because when you come in this business. it's not a debate between business and the job okay it's not there is no debate about traditional business versus non traditional business or whatever it is there's no debate it's just the debate that where there is a better income source simple yes or no it's very simple correct so you need to first understand hey all the lsc here no at i 
you got the message right question pain huh? okay so you understand what i'm saying huh so what is that first debate what's the first thing huh what did jess just say hmm so what are we here for hello i want this interactive session huh huh always sit with open hand never sit like this if you are sitting with a cross hand that means you are not reading books you read the book which book it's written huh question has answers what what it says can you tell him correct may you say we know which book you are not reading <laughs> huh <laughs> okay <laughs> so so what, what did we just say first we need to accept there is no debate between nobody is challenging that your job is bad i always say job is good i never crib and complain about my job and i hate to say the jobs are bad they are not it just that it gives a less money are we clear yes. it's a simple thing we need to first accept that job is a vehicle that can only take you to certain place if you want to go to london will you go by car will you go by car no go no can you reach it will take years right so what you have to do car can take you only till airport after airport you have to take flight so job can take you till airport then you have to take business <laughs> which can take you to the destination so if you have a bigger financial destination then you need to have a bigger income source there is no debate about job and business clear are we clear that's the first thing is anybody in dubai because you love heat and love sand mitti this mitti aisa koi hai ya you know the whole the indian cinema we have like loud dramatic shots we hold the sand and we like you know i say anybody no like that right? then we are here for money right correct <laughs> huh so you have to accept first because the first thing that you will start with an acceptance that i am here for a money that's where everything starts that's where everything starts okay now how many know, people know the word called sanskar sanskar how many people know this word term called sanskar hmm someone drill culture in you how many people know the word called culture huh you know you don't know put up the hand yes yes okay agree you don't agree okay so someone correct so we live in a society which keeps passing on the certain sanskar certain behavior certain beliefs what sanskar behavior beliefs correct they keep passing on to you since childhood for example your mother says don't eat chocolate from the stranger and first thing that mother tells you stop trusting stranger see what your mom did what your mom done because your child's brain is formed between 0 to 12 that's it after 0 to 12 is fully function whatever belief system you have to put you have to put between 0 to 12 0 to 13 max 15 not after that so 0 to 15 you are always under the shadow of your parents your neighbors your relatives yes or no what they teach you what teacher tells you what your friends tell you you resonate with them the most because you become like them you understand this even if you have flown to uae but minute you go to your childhood friend you feel at home all the time check 
if you have a colleagues party and if you have school friends party you will be more excited with your school friends party than your colleagues party check even if your colleague have even if your dubai friends you will not be so comfortable with but if your childhood friends you will be very comfortable with yes or no because that's where the bond has built your belief their belief connects so you must understand and you must not forget we are a product of the belief system that has been passed to us we are a product of a belief system that has passed that has been getting passed to us on a daily basis are we clear what you believe and what you don't believe for example in indian cinema we have seen the hero is to wear ganji <laughs> is to always wear a, you know uh, there's a t-shirt like you know typical vest and is torn it is got holes so he's a poor guy okay but a dil ka sachcha you know like that <laughs> is very <laughs> that kind of sound you know <laughs> dil ka bahut sachcha is a is a man of you know honesty is always speak the truth and stick to the truth you know and that guy is poor so in indian cinema you will see the poor guy okay and then you will see the villain who's a rich guy who has a cadillac he has a cigar he has a beautiful villa he has a nice daughter you know everything is fantastic but he's a bad guy okay and we grown up seen this that rich people are bad people belief system has been passed to us in our head in many ways that's called money sanskar that's called paise ki bhi sanskar hote hai that's called you have been yeah so there's a belief system of money has been drilled in our head since childhood that a big money is not a good thing yes agree this has been drilled agree in many ways even my parents used to teach me poems because my parents were teachers they used to teach me poems which is anti money poems <laughs> you know <laughs> you know anti luxury poems you know so this is a poem literally is to translate the poor guy he will understand raja sa ji mahali saukhe na kadhi me ali yas jhopdi te maja you remember this yeah so he will remember so the king in his in his uh, in his palace okay will not will not get a peaceful sleep but the poor guy in his hut sleeps very peacefully that's a poem and and this was drilled in my head Up until my, I met VP Kavita, right? <laughs> you understand this, huh? So you need to understand there are there are there are things. So you come wondering, you know somewhere there is a lack of money, but you don't feel like doing certain activities because I don't know why. so you should go check your belief system that has been drilled in your head since childhood are we clear yeah that's the first thing so we struggle we struggle with these own beliefs second beliefs that get passed on to us through our education system so you have been introduced to the topics like science arts maths commerce geography social everything as a child as a child you had many topics remember and as you grown up very strategically all the topics were taken away from you and you called it oh i have done my pg i have done my specialization i have entered in by 10th and 11th so as you enter into 10th and 11th the subject reduces you know this huh then what happens then you do get into this specialization then your topic further reduces right you choose some specialization and you enter into one field yes what happens that means you 
have cut down all other fields. Have you realized what happened? But it is not told to you like that. How it has been portrayed? You have become now specialized. It was not told to you. Now you have to let go other topics. See what happened? So then you become a particular specialized person in a one particular field. And you feel, that's my pride. I will let, no, never let that go. Because I'm a doctor. I'm an engineer. What happens? That becomes your identity. What, what it becomes? Identity. Because once you go home, people don't say, you know, no, people not say, Mac has come. People say, meet my son. He's a regional director. Huh? Meet my son. He's a CA. They say, no. Especially if you're a damag in the house, you know. Your, your father-in-law will be like, my, my, you know, son-in-law, imagine, you know, <laughs> look at him. He's, he's a manager in the bank. You'll never take the name. You'll always get introduced by your designation in your family. Yes or no? He works here. He works with that company. He hold this designation. He hold that position. Yes or no? And that becomes your identity. What, what, what happens to us? Identity. So there are two challenges that you start to face. Number one, it converts into the ego and it is very difficult to let go. Number one, that's one bad thing happens. It converts into ego. Now you have, now you don't want to let that go. If anybody says something to you, get angry. Halas. Second, second thing happens to you is you get locked up into the one particular stream of income source. Now you will never invent any new business. You will never invent medical industry. You will never get into telecommunication industry. You will never get into uh, any other industry because you belong to one industry, one job, one skill, one profile. You understand? That's what happens. So you need to know what has happened. You know slaughterhouse? They take... So that's what the education system is. Education system take everybody and streamline into the particular lane. <laughs> Simple. Slowly, slowly, all the topics have been taken away from you. And that's basically, okay, I will show you this analogy, why millionaires. So before that, wait, um, I can show that first slide. So, what happens? Stay here. What happens? This is me. This is my education. Okay. Or degree. Whatever I call it. Or my skills. Correct. And then I see the money. Correct. Money which I need. Yes or no? Now, I always see money through the particular education so the man behind here there's a camera and there's a laptop and then there's editing software he sees money only through the editing software through the camera through his camera skill he always see money through his skill he doesn't see money beyond that so for him doctor i'll always see me medical industry and the money you understand this me construction site and the money. Are you understanding? Me cooking and the money. So I cook, I'm a chef, something. But the guy who don't have education, what happens to him? Me money. He doesn't see money through the profession. See what happens? The guy who don't have a formal education, what happens to him? He directly sees money. He sees money everywhere. He sees, oh, I can sell this mic, make more money. I can cut hair, I can make more money. I can sell a shirt, I can make more money. I can build a carpet, make more money. I can make money anywhere. This is what happens to the human when you don't keep that barrier. You don't keep a filter. You understand? How many people understood this? 
How many people genuinely understood this? How many people didn't understand what I just said? Because you will never make money in any business if you don't understand what I'm trying to explain. Zindagi mein jada paisa kama na, ye basics hai. Are you getting my point? You understood? What you understand? Who can explain me? In a simple one line. Can you explain? It's okay, no problem. Kalas. Whatever you can, whichever way you can explain me. Who can explain me? We see money only through the particular profession, particular skill. We don't see money beyond that. You understand this? So if you want to, so what is the debate we are having here? We want to make more money. Why do you make, why? so that means you have less money? Whose problem it is? Your job's problem. You have a less money, whose problem it is? Is a profession problem? No. But why you can't let go the profession? Because it has converted into your ego. It has converted into your identity. Correct. You understand now? This is where we struggle. How can I tell people, 14 years I'm a doctor, now I started direct selling. How? See, you understand? You know there's less money, yes. <laughs> how, can I, how can I let go my career of 15 years? They struggle with this. Are we understanding? So is the problem with money or is the problem here? Simple. Are you, are you getting my point now? That's where your journey of making money starts. Are we clear? So you need to first, what happened? Okay. So, so now you will see, next slide. Go to next slide. See now, see the difference. Next. So this is the huge issue. So why an employee earns less money? They follow interest passion. They run for degrees and skill. And when they run for degrees and skill, their degree skills decide their profession. Profession leads to a specific job and you make less money. You understand? On the other side, why big businessmen earn money? Because their goal is not passion. Listen, hello, hello. Taking photo first, understand. I asked you, what do you how many people understand? Then put a phone. You will take a, I know what you guys do. You take a photo, put on status. That means, let me explain what happens. Knowledge I have, it is for others, not for me. If you don't believe into something, how you can pass on the belief to somebody? You understand this? This was never given to me by any applying, by the way. This is how I decide to come out of my job. These are my thoughts. I put it on a PPT today because I struggled to leave my successful job and come into the industry of direct selling. I was struggling mentally. So, I had to make myself understand why I have to be here. And that is why I do this. You understand? This is not taken from Instagram. This is came from here. If you don't have these thoughts in your head, you will always struggle to make money. And your some neighbor will tell you, why are you doing this? Tomorrow you will not be here, right? You get my point now? So first understand. Because if you understand, you can pass on the belief to somebody. If you don't understand, no. You will always pass on the knowledge to somebody, not the belief. Are we clear? There is a difference between passing on the knowledge and passing on conviction. Move se bolna, dil se bolna, do alag chiz hai. Haan. You get my point? Something that you speak from mouth, something that you speak from heart, there are two different things. So why do the people make more money? Because their goal is not to become somebody. Their goal is to make money. See? Why the big businessmen make more money? Their goal is to not become somebody. Their goal is to make money. They are very clear. When they want to make more money, what do they say? Let me now choose which field I should make more money. Yes. What my dad said? I want you to get into the job and become a manager. 
He didn't say, I want you to make $1 million. That is a mistake my father did. I don't do this mistake with my son. I have a 12 year old boy. Every day I ask him one question. You know why? You know what question I ask him? How you will make your money? I don't say what you will become. What I ask? How you will make your money? One day he says, I will make lemonade. I said, great. Second day he says, I will, I will start my own restaurant. I said, great. Third day he says, I will start my own apps. I will invent the apps. I said, great. Third day he says, I will have my video games. I said, great. That means he understand at the age of 12, money can be made from anywhere. That's where I have won. I'm very grateful to this industry, which not just gave me the money, which gave me the right mindset, which I can tell my next generation. Because if you don't build your mindset, what you'll build? You'll give your child 100 crore. And if you don't build their mindset, what will they will do? They'll waste your 100 crore. <laughs> so it's not only about making money and passing on to children. It's about making money and giving them the belief system. Giving, the, giving, giving them the rights, right mindset. If you don't build your mindset, how will you give them? So first thing, you need to resolve the conflict that money is everywhere. Do not waste your life into one field, struggling, unnecessary, just because people call me, I'm a manager. Just because your father are proud of you, because you're a doctor, it doesn't matter. What it matters, are you happy? You're not happy, then leave. Make more money, simple. Agree? So that's the first starting point and today you come here for edification and somebody says oh he was a manager he was doing this he was a regional head and you're like that's again boosting your ego agree next so this is what happens to most of us so first you need to know why we come into the direct selling industry why do we choose only direct selling industry and why we don't choose anything else when it comes to making more money? This is the answer. What happens to most of the people in the world, 80%, I'm not talking 20% is an exception. 80% people who struggle to make more money after 30. First 30, they make a lot of money. They spend their money on a lot of expenses and they don't save their money. Yes or no? After 30, they need a money. So what happens at that age of 30? Your career booms very fast. You become a manager. Yes or no? So minute you back, become a manager at the age of 30, your salary becomes stagnant. After 30, your salary doesn't grow very fast. 30, 32. Yes or no? Because there are very less position above you to move fast. So you have to wait for at least 5 years to get next position. Yes or no? Huh? But in, from 32 to 37, what happens? You get married. You have children. Yes or no? So minute you have marriage, children, because at the age of 30, 32, you become marriage material. Minute you are marriage material, your parents says, get married. Have your own house. Have your own car. So marriage is on loan. House is on loan. Car is on loan. Then another two children, their education. Yes or no? So salary is same, but expenses rises. So you start to spend money, which you don't have. Write this down. You spend money, which you don't have. We call it loan, credit cards. You spend money, which you don't have. That is called loan and that's called credit card. See, or next. So your salary is stagnant and you have expenses. Yes or no? So in many cases, you're tried out to lower your expenses by sending kid to cheap Indian schools. By sending, by staying in Ajman, or staying in Sharaja. Lower down the expense. I'm sorry, but this is true.
and then keep repairing old cars. Then what happens? Go next. The only thing that you need to do here is to earn more than what you spend. Earn more than what you spend. That is called exponential growth. So where does exponential growth happens? 2 become 4, 4 become 8, 8 become 16. You remember? Where do you remember this? Where do you remember this? You understand now? Why do we come here? We come in this industry not because other industries are bad. This is the only industry it gives you exponential income. You understand this? Exponential income in a 30 days it gives you huge money. You saw the financial plan. So in a very less time it start to give you fantastic profit. Within a one year if you keep if you have put your first one and a half month in this business properly reading books at least two times. If you have just listened to your upline with your ear 100% open and if you have followed them the first two months properly within one year you will basically start to make huge money in this business. Huge money. Because it grows exponentially. Just by listening so 2 become 4, 4 become 8, 8 becomes this thing. That means you make more money. So you, this is your income graph. This is your expense graph. And this is your salary. See? So this is your income graph through the business. If you grow like this, there is a gap, right? You see this gap? What gap is this? This is called savings. This is where you start to save money. Invest money. You buy your houses. Are you understanding? So many people buy properties in Dubai from our infinity team. You know this, right? Where this money is coming from? Air. <laughs> huh? So, you have to first understand. Are we clear? Huh? So, this business gives you that. So, we are not here. Because I love biodisc. Wow. I love it too. I love cheap and I love it too. But what I love more is there's a money. Are we clear? Simple. If I just love a product, I'll be customer here. I will not be a part of the business. I'm being very honest with you. If I just love a product, I'll be a customer here. I'll buy water filter, I'll sit at home, drink water every day. I like the money here. More clear. So be very clear. When you come in this business, you've got to be very clear. Clear with what? Making money. Be very clear. What is the problem that you are trying to solve? Money. What is what did you tell your friend from day one? Bro, I want to make more money. Yes or no? Did you say I want to do business? No. So why there's a conflict? You say I want to make more money. Simple. It's a very simple thing. So sometimes we just struggle with our own thoughts. I'm telling you today. And then you say, how this guy became a VC man? How this guy became a diamond man? Because we struggle our own thoughts. People who come behind you goes. You get my point? And this is normal. Next. This, forget India, this is happening most of the part of the world. People don't know why to take loans. They take loans for iPhones. They take loans. So they take credit cards. Use credit card. See the credit card debt, personal loan debt, car loan debt, loan against gold. The real debt should be this. The ideally debts are taken to build assets, not for liabilities. The loans are taken to build assets, not for liability. Meaning, if you get a loan from bank on 4%, you invest that money 
on a 12% return or 15% return and you make more money on it. Yes or no? That is how you should take a loan for. Debts are taken to make more money. That means you take bank's money and you leverage on bank money. That's what Ro Robert Uncle said. Yes or no? You know Robert Uncle? Yes. I have a very good uncle. You have Robert Uncle? Okay. <laughs> Common uncle. Robert Uncle said that you should take debts, correct? To build assets, not for liabilities. What do we do? We buy iPhone 16 Pro. Seriously? <laughs> huh? on, a, on a credit card. <laughs> Depreciating. I'm not saying don't buy, but what I'm trying to tell you, rather make more check here and then buy phone. Yes or no? Huh? Mm. So, so, these are the common mistakes people do. Are we clear? So first, this is called financial education. Financial education is purposely hidden from the society. I will half this thing on your head again and again, 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 again and again. Financial education has been hidden from us and deliberately not given us in our education system. These are basics, no? You can teach children, no? You can teach children. Education system will never put this. Will never put this. Because if employees get to know who will become employed, it's a very simple thing. Are we clear? Next. So, this is Indian PPT, but forget that. You should know this. This works everywhere. How many times you pay to Emirates hospitality or Emirates groups in a day? That's a question. Yes or no? So today when you come in Dubai, you pay money to Emirates every single day. So how much is the salary? 40,000 dirham. What you do with that? I pay my Tirsarat bill, do bill. Who are you paying to? Government. Then you have Costa Coffee. Starbucks belongs to whom? Government. Yeah. <laughs> they are the one who owns the franchises here. Okay. Who owns Pepsi? For all families. Who owns McDonald's? For all families. Yes. Simple. So today you should know this. There's nothing wrong because that's what we are business. We are business here. We are here to spend money into the country. We're supposed to. That is how taxes are generated. Yes or no? So we are income. So why you struggle to save money in a country? Not by saving a money. You have to make more money. That's what this country says. This country is very simple. You make man, more money and enjoy more life here. So if you happen to be in Dubai, okay, I accepted this. It's very important. I, so I am, I earn more. I cannot save more here. So you should know we pay a daily rent to be part of this, correct? If you go to a country like India, there are so many brands, like an entire telecommunication industry belongs to Reliance. There are all the supermarkets belongs to Reliance. Yes or no? There are all entertainment media belong to Reliance. All the brands, like all the shopping brands. Look at the brands. All of them, like Boss and all of them. Armani Exchange, Ritu Kumar, all. Michelle Coase, all of them. All the top brands, Diesel, correct? They are Steve Madden. They all belong to Reliance. That means when you are spending money, it doesn't matter where you spend money. Even in India, you spend money on Metro. It still goes to Reliance. The metro also belongs to them. Imagine. So they have a direct or indirect investment. Suppose this is a park hotel. Emirates Hospital might own 10% here. We don't know. MMI, you know MMI belongs to them. <laughs> so everything, every penny you spend, you spend again. Then, so you are that one person who you earns money from Wipro in, uh, or suppose if you are working with some group here, okay, in Dubai and then you spend again. So you are just money is flowing through you continuously. Are we clear? That's the first thing you should know. So you are paying daily rent to be here. Are we clear? So whole idea, go to the next, go to the next. So, you pay daily rent to all Fortune 500 companies to Spain, India, Dubai, all the countries. You go to UK, same thing. 
Make sense? Next. So there are reality check. You go to many countries in India also, like that is becoming expensive. You cannot stay. Okay. In one city, you come into Dubai. Okay. How much is the local expense? How much is the minimum expense to be here? Tell me. To run a normal house for one person, at least you need four, five thousand dirham. Five thousand dirham, one person's expense in a month. Yes or no? That means you pay monthly rent to be here for five thousand dirham, a decent life. Minimum. You minimum money has to go out of your pocket, five thousand dirham, just to survive here. Yes or no? That's the first thing you need to know. What you what is happening to you? That means, and if you are making less money, that means you are living on loans. How you slip back into the loan, that's something you should know. Next. Correct. So, real value of money. So, now I am talking about, forget this chart. I will show you something. Okay. You should know about next part. So, what I told you so far is about how, how you slip into the loans. Okay. Now, I want to talk about something called inflation. Do you know inflation? Simple. There is a there's a milk bottle that cost you two, uh, one, one dirham. How many years ago? 10 years, 10 years ago. Now, the milk bottle has become 10 dirham in after 10 years. Okay. So, 10 years ago, milk bottle was one dirham. Now, it is 10 dirham. 10 years ago, you came in Dubai, your salary was one dirham. Now your salary has become 10 dirham. So you say when you came to UAE, your salary was 1 dirham. Now you are happy because it has become 10 dirham. But you are, that time also you are buying milk. Now also you are buying milk. You understand this? What you understood? <laughs> that means your salary has not grown. Salary has not grown. It's just the figure is growing. But the salary is same. That is called inflation. You think I am getting increment. If your company is giving you 10% increment, they are not giving you increment. They are giving you inflation adjusted. That means, I will explain you what is it. How many people understand accounts? Basic finance. Okay. She is my client. Okay. I am providing X service to her. So this year, my contract says, I charge her 100 dirham. And in my contract, it's written, next year, inflation adjusted, I will increase the fees. It's like RERA calculator. Correct? So inflation of countries reached 7% or 10%, I will tell her, next year, I want 110. Correct? I take that 110 and give it to my employees again. Because inflation adjusted money is given to you. Same money. That means your salary also has to go because it's inflation adjusted. That because you still need to buy the same milk, no? So you think I got 10% increment. It is just the inflation adjusted given it to you. That means you will end up buying the same things. So 10% increment is not an increment. The real increment that you want to have, it has to be 30%. It has to be 25%. Then only it is increment. Otherwise, it is not an increment. Let me tell you today. Are we clear? If any company is giving you only 10% increment, that means they are just in, they're, they're already charging that money to their client, taking it and giving it to you, which is inflation adjusted. I don't know how many people understood this. Okay. So, it is something called inflation. So, if you are getting 10%, they are scammed. <laughs> okay. And let me tell you, if you are like, we are lucky in India, we don't have, we are, we are not in India. Because what happens, if your salary is increasing 10%, your inflation also, correct, rising, but your tax bracket is going higher. That means 7% is Indian inflation. 7% will go out of your pocket and 3% whatever is left is your tax. That means what you earn is what you spend, what you earn is what you spend, what you earn what you spend, what you earn what you spend. Yes or no? Simple. Plus your salary, plus your family expenses are rising. You understand? 
So this is next. So if you understand this, then you'll understand you will keep complaining till age of 60, but salary has not grown. Are you clear? Now the next, what is another reason that people face here is this. We thought it's a joke, it's reality today. Today, we just done one event last week and we needed some artworks. We literally went to chat GTP, typed few things and quickly created and, and put it. Simple. Yeah, we wanted to create logos. I am a Sapphire star, I am a Max. We, we, we create, no? We did that in this time, Chat GTP. <laughs> we didn't use any designer to do it. It happened faster. You understand? Congratulations. So today, today everywhere the AI is coming. I, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Okay. So we have to first understand it is real. Climate change is real. AI is real. Technology is real. It is going to come to bite us back. It's true. Are we clear? You accept, don't accept, that's your problem. Okay, next. So, these are the facts that we say maximum age group, which is 25 to 34, you see almost 45% jobs are going to go. Simple. In every sector, across the sectors. Are we clear? So, you accept it. First industry that hit, which is technology and financial sector. Who? Technology and financial sector. You go to Mashrep banks in Dubai, you only see screens. Yes or no? Where are the employees gone? So, minute the financial sector is hit by technology, it is going to trickle down to everybody. You understand this? They start automation everywhere. Because if I am a bank and if I wanted to run on automation, I will go to a restaurant and I will install the software that also run on automation. Done. Are you, you understand what I'm saying? That's how it is. If I am a Marriott Hotel, I'll go and tell Marriott Hotel, you are my biggest client. I'm a Emirates, I'm Emirates NBD. Uh, I don't need your account department. What? You need it for your auditing? For, for the, all the banking purpose, taxing purpose? We have software. We'll help you do that. So all the financial sectors, they're imposing the technology on their clients. That's where the trickle down effect starts. They will go to Emirates Airlines. Hey, 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 just remove all your departments. Why? Because we have, a, we have, because I want to run on technology. You need to run on technology too. You understand? Because we are connected. That's how the financial sector start imposing technology on all other sectors. Tipping sector. They'll suppose, impose it on hospitality sector. They'll impose it on events. Everywhere. They will impose it on airports, every sector. Are we clear now? Yes, you understood. Good. <laughs> Are we clear? Hmm. So today you need to you need to understand, guys. We are living in a fast-paced generation. How, today, how many kids, how many children, how many people have kids going in UAE schools? You pay good, decent, decent. You know what we're paying it for? Just to engage them in education system. What they are going to learn is not what they are going to use. We are just paying right now so that they stay away. That's it. <laughs> because what they are going to learn, they are not going to use. Yes or no? That's true. You know, app can be built on software today. You just go and type on AI. Just type it. So the one lang one thing that you need nowadays is the writing skills. If you're writing, if you're articulating very well on AI, you can... So you, you, you don't need a skill. So if you want to teach your kids anything, teach them how to write and describe well. If your child can write and describe well, it has to give instruction to AI. AI understands your instructions very well. Khalas, work is out. Whether you want to give instruction to 3D printer, 3D printer will start building building. Yeah, just by writing. So I want 5-4 story. Uh, this, this, this beams, this, this, this pillars, da 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 concrete disc gram, whatever metal this much, da 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 feed in. Done. So you need to be 
well articulative and descriptive. So that's what it is. So art people are not doing very well. The people who are writers, huh? the people who can articulate well are using chat GTP very well nowadays. Yes? Yeah. That's what is happening. See, I gave my point today. So if you think my I will make my son engineer, no, you can make app. Just explain very well to AI. Are we understanding? That's it. Call us. So things are happening. <laughs> okay. So welcome to the world. Okay. So now you know what's happening to our children. Next. So, well, I don't want to tell you so many people getting fired across the industries. Intel, AI, go. Next, next, next. Uh, yeah, you see so many posts you can go check. Next. 14 million job will vanish in the next five years. Hollywood doing strikes against AI. Go next. Advance. AI will kill India's call center within one year. There will be no call center kept. Halas. India was a... Uh, okay, good. So this point I want you to understand. So country like India, Philippines, okay, uh, Brazil to certain extent, Mexico, yes, Colombia, yes, Egypt, yes. Uh, we have been considered, or China, of course, we have been considered as a uh, Africa, yes. We have been considered as a labor to the world. You understand what I'm saying? We have been considered as a task force. So you'll see construction site, India, Philippines. You understand? Indonesian guy. Are we clear? Because we are call center. Let it, let's put it in India. Philippines, they're cheaper. Yes or no? So we consider it as a cheap laborers. Agree? Yeah, to the whole world. Someone want to do animation? India. All the animation centers. You'll always see India has been known as a hub of skills. Okay? Now what happens? Skills are replaced by AI and robotics. Skills are replaced say, by AI and robotics. So massive people will be going out of job now in India because of the policy government hold, which is education, skill-based education policy. Our entire education is based on skill, which is going to backfire now, big time. So suddenly you'll have huge, and India has another problem, massive, 40% children, 40% population is going to be children now. Like Europe is completely against, they're getting older, but India is getting younger. So you're going to face this massive problem now. We'll have a lot of people getting out of a job. So they are studied, no job. Educated, no job. Educated, no job. You get my point now? Now, once you are educated, you, your brain is not willing to learn another industry very fast. Because three years goes in sulking. Two years goes in trying some stupid job. The low salary, just because you took a degree. I'm a doctor. I'll work with some stupid salary. Why? Just because I'm a doctor. No. You understand? So they work with a low salary in any sector just because I've studied in hospitality. So what? I'm getting less money. I want experience. Hmm. First five years, I will. Who does first five years only experience? Blood in five years, people became billionaires, man. Nowadays, five years they're taking experience. They're still roaming around their CVs. Experience. You understand what's happening? So people, even they know there are lesser salaries, they hang around in that field and they become 35-40. Minute they become 35-40, it is damn difficult for people to change the field because brain is not willing to take other industries. Are you getting my point? This is what is happening to the world. So there is something called alternative industries. What is it called? What are the alternative industries which you can quickly learn and start making money? Governments are pushing those industries a lot. We call it gig economy. What is it? Gig economy, gig work, extra source of income. That's why these economies are mushrooming a lot. Are you understanding now? Samja? Huh? Kya samja? <laughs> huh? So if you're not understanding, see, I'll tell you something because then you just go and tell him, I my friend is not listening, no. If you explain, you can listen, no. Huh? Are we clear? 
I understood. You understood. They will understood. Simple. Yes or no? I understand. You understand. We need to make him understand. Simple. Agree? Next. So, all the banks. Look at this. 35,000 job cuts. That's crazy. Look at this. 800, 3,000. All the banks. 80,000 job cuts. Go. Next. If not, then when? Okay. Next. So, traditional business. So, I'll come to gig economy a little later. We all have, I don't want to tell you this. You all know this. Enough. Everybody knows now their expenses, you know, overheads. So, there are so many issues. Okay. So, traditional business is a startup cost, capital, massive overhead. Okay. You have constant tech upgrade. You have to keep upgrading your machinery. Meaning, today, if you go to doctor, patient knows the doctor's machine is old. Doctor, you don't have any machine. Eh? That's the thing today. So, doctor has not, I'm because I work with 100 plus doctors in India, by the way, we have a team, and they keep telling us this. Very patient. I have not recovered my money from one machine. Ready? Same with printing technology. Same problem with printing technology. The machines they have to import from Germany and they're damn expensive machines. And it takes bloody 10, 10 years to recover money from them. But, well, same with textile industry. Same. Machineries have become so fast. And then they are not recovered the money. You understand? So then lack of skills. That means you, your employees do mistakes and you have to keep paying. Happens? Yes, all the time. Go, oh, just wait one more time. Yeah. So there's one thing happens with every businessman. I'll tell you. One thing is common. So he has an office and he has a clients. Yes or no? Or you have factory, then you have market. Yes or no? Huh? So if you have a rest hotel and you have to go in the market and get the work. Now, if you sit inside your office, somebody else will take the business opportunity because you're not in the market. If you go out in the market, your employee will do some stupidity where you'll have to keep losing money. You understand what happens? So, one person cannot be in two places. That's why traditional businessmen struggle to make more money. Because he has to keep running around between office and the clients, 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 factory to office. And sometimes the factory is always outside the city. So they have to try, they have to travel on all the time on highways. They have to travel midnight on highways all the time. Because all the factories are always on outskirts. How VC Puja's father met an accident? Same thing. Same. I'll see so many people, all the factory workers, that is the problem with most of the factory owners. They have to keep driving on the highways from factory to the clients, factory to the clients, factory to the clients. It's crazy what they have to do. I don't know how many of you know these things. Most of the factory people, all the owners, you will always see some accident on highways because it's midnight travel, early morning travel. It's crazy. So just what you know, what happens to people in a traditional business, you don't know. So if you think this is not a real business, this is the real business. You are blessed to sit in an AC cabin, somebody is teaching you, guiding you, you don't get that, all that in traditional business. Nobody will tell you trade secrets. You understand? First, you should be grateful what you get here. Next. Next. So, this is a gig economy. It's rising every year. See this. It's rising every year. Now, it is a $500 billion economy. How much? $500. How much is? How much is? How much is the economy? Go. Next. Next. This is, look at this. Most populated countries. UK is rising now. All, all of them are. Germany is rising. All of them are rising now. United States has grown. This is to 2018 data. Look at this. India. So, it says, Gig work as an additional source of income. So these many people, additional source of income. And 8%, which is main source of income, this is where a lot of Indian IRS come who are full-timers. They're taken gig work as a full-time, they don't go to job anymore. You understand? So these are 
These are people, suppose full timer in our business, and these are part timer in our business. Are we clear? That's how it is. People are taking a big full time gig work. They don't do anything else. You understand? So, gig economy is a $500 billion economy. Go next. We are 183 billion. Direct selling is 183 billion. We are part of gig economy. You understand? So, that means we are one third. So that means the world's preferred choice when it comes to extra source of income is direct selling. Huh. Are you understanding this? Good, bad. Very good. The whole world's preferred choice. That means the entire world of people who want to do extra source of income, the gig work, they choose direct selling first. Are you understanding which is good? Proven, tested across the globe. So don't feel don't stand like a booth, like zombies. Right? You know, sometimes you come to us like a zombie. Why am I here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> be aware that you are, <laughs> you are in the right place. Are we clear? Yeah. Next. What's the purpose? Purpose, which I kept saying in the morning. What did I say? What is the core purpose? Making money. Be very clear. The problem that you have solved, because you just hear this word in a business. I don't want to do business. My parents said, don't do the business. My dad said, don't do the business. In our family, we don't want to do business. Are Baba, you want to make money. Why there is a so much of struggle between business and a job? Are you getting my point? I see a lot of people, lot of students come. My dad says, focus on a job. Don't make, don't do the business right now. You have, hello, why? So propose it as a new income source. That's where the root cause is. Because not every employee is ready to start the business. I told you, ego. Getting the point. But the reason why you 50% prospects, you lose the battle, you know? I don't want to do business. My parents said don't do the business. My husband is not allowing me to do business. Yes or no? Extra source of income is just the income source. Are we clear? First, just get it in your head. Business is getting ran by our direct deals and entire QI and everybody's running it. They are running it. You are not running it. You are not managing your house. Yes or no? This is an income source for you. Are we clear? Next. So what are we trying to change? We are trying to change from your time to system. Are we clear? So far your money came because of your physical time. Now your money will come because of the system. And later your money will come because of the investment. Are we clear? So there are four ways to make money. Rather three ways. Using your time to make money. Using system to make money. Using money to make money. This is better. But you don't have it. Okay. So you need system to make more money. When you have more money, you will do this. But for a more money, you need to come from here to here. Are we clear? Huh? Uh, so don't struggle. Just understand. If one clock makes 100 dirham, 100 clocks will make 100 multiplied into 100. How much? Huh? Are you understanding this calculation? If you have 100 clocks with you, that means like you, if you have 100 people working with you, they all generate 100 dirham daily. And it contributes to the bigger profit. That is called system. Yes or no? That's it. You are adding more clocks in your life. Because you have body clock. God has gifted us only 24 hours. Yes or no? Huh? So you need to have more 24 hours. More 24 hours. More 24 hours in a same day. That's called adding more time in a day. Are we clear? That's called basically increasing your productivity. So there are two things you need to understand today. Time and productive hours. There are two different things. 
write down how many hours we have in a day 24 hours how many hours you have productive hours in a day 10 hours 10 hours you are productive 9 to 9 after that call us i want mango juice you don't know huh? <laughs> some people laugh i don't know why <laughs> too much huh? so so you are you are only productive for first 10 hours in a day yes or no so god has gifted you 24 hours god has given elon musk 10 hour, 24 hours there is no other difference everybody has got 24 hours but productive hours is in your hand you have only 8 elon musk has 8 million why? Because he has more people doing the same work in a day that adds his more time, adds his more productive hours. So what are you here for? Increasing productive hours. Simple. You are here to increase productive hours. That's called building systems. So you have to first understand what are you here for? Adding productive hours. So what is the question we ask in qualifier first? Will you give us three hours? Four hours. Are we clear now? Hmm? Very simple. So we are here to add productive hours in a day. So productive hours, you are here for that. So first you have to understand what are you here for. So more hour, more productivity will increase. Are we clear? Now, when you are increasing productivity, there are two choices. Either you pay them or empower them. I don't know whether I have that slide here or later. Check. Oh, it's okay. I'll come to that. Come to I'll come to that little later. So this is a very important thing. Go back now. Okay, go back, go back. Go back, back. Huh. Stay here. So I'll give an example. Okay. There's a very funny example. There's a very world's richest person called Ambani. Okay. And his child is fat. You seen him? And the world's smartest player and the most acknowledged player is called Sachin Tendulkar. Correct? Cricket player, right? He's been, he's a god of cricket. Yes or no? He's fit. His son is fit. Now look at the irony. Sachin Tendulkar used his skill and time to play cricket and make money. And he got retired. Then he passed on his skill to his son and he couldn't be as good as him. So his money from cricket stopped. Mukesh Ambani built cricket team. And he could pass all his cricket team to his son. So by being a god of cricket, he couldn't pass on cricket as a legacy to his next generation because skill cannot be passed on. But system can be passed on. You understand? So, Mukesh Ambani built a cricket team and he passed on cricket to me to his fat son who don't even know how to play cricket. He cannot even hold a bat. He owns a cricket team and he makes money. Skill cannot be passed on. If you love your skill, if you love your profession, I'm sorry, it doesn't become a legacy. You stop, your skill-based income stop. Are we very clear? That doesn't mean don't educate yourself or your children, but I'm telling you, making you aware. System creation is the only way. Are we clear? Next. So, next you need to understand key. there are two stark difference. This I done because I wanted clarity. You work for 20 years, 45 years you are earning faith, retired due to old age. Retired due to old age. Here, I work for 20 years. I work in our, our business for 5 10 years and retired because you have made all your money. Which is better retirement? Huh? Second one. Yes or no? You want to get retired because you made money? You get retired because of old. Because retired meaning retired. The whole English term retired meaning khalas, expired. You know, <laughs> no, you can get retired when you have made all your money. Are we clear? So, most of us are applying are retired. Vipi Kavita, she's young and she's retired. Good, huh? Very nice, no? 
She want to you'll meet VC Pooja. She's young. She's retired. Good. Great. How about getting retired at the age of 30, 32? You, you saw Raghubai, right? Retired. He's not even, he's hardly 30, 32. He will come. Huh? He's retired. Technically, he's retired actually. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to first understand. That is what is retirement? Yeah. So you can get retired because you made all your money. Next. So this is why we come in this industry. So I explained you so many reasons why we come here. Are we clear right now? So whatever I told you so far, I didn't talk about our industry. What I spoke about, why you need to be here. Why your prospect need to be here. That means everything which I told you can be told to the prospect. Are we very clear? Because if you are clear, you can pass on the clarity to somebody. Yes or no? If I have a clarity, you can pass on the clarity. If I have a condition, I pass on the condition. Agree? Now what is this? Is a vehicle. Simple. Now this is a highly misunderstood vehicle. Let's talk about that also. Now why this is highly misunderstood vehicle? Because banking, do you have exams? Hmm? Do you have exams of banking? Yes or no? Can you be a bank employee without giving any exam? No. Uh, constructions, you have to be civil engineer? Yes. Doctor, you have to be an engineer, you have to be a medical certified professional? Yes or no? Huh? In hospitality also, all the top jobs, you need to have a degree holder, diploma holder? Yes or no? Huh? Unfortunately, this industry don't have formal education. That's where the bigger problem is. It is not stamped by education system. Are we clear? That is the problem. The problem lies there. It is not stamped by any degree or any institution. That's where the bigger problem. Now that is also getting resolved. Now, UAE government has introduced direct selling into the economics. Yes, all, all the governments. You go to Indian governments also. Now they have brought direct selling as a concept of one of the distribution concept in the chapters. So now the kids are made aware because government knows kid has to be educated now. Are we clear? But it was not there before. So the confusion happened. This industry was has been getting operated by many countries without a formal education. Are we clear? It's very important for you to understand. So once you come here and if you are confused, what's happening? It's not us. It's government who done it. They never imposed financial education on this industry. Are we clear? That's the first thing. Kerala government tried doing that for one year that they didn't do. You know that, no? They had made that some class compulsory. I don't know if it's still there. They did it in 2016, 2017, I think. First one year tried it, they, they made it compulsion. Correct? So, next. One more thing, since I'm talking about Kerala. Go back. You need to understand, guys. How many people are from Kerala, South India, generally? Can you on this? Hmm? Okay. Uh, Nepal and all that. <clears throat> okay. A country needs an income source. What is it? A country and a state needs an income source. Now, unfortunately, a state don't have industries. Unfortunately, Kerala don't have. What do you don't have? Because it is known as a tourism. Yes or no? Now, that has backfired you guys. Because the whole lack of jobs. Because most of the people get jobs in factory and mechanical work. Because you don't have industries in Kerala. Lot of people have to go out for to make bigger money. Yes or no? And they keep coming in Kerala, known as 100% literacy. 100% literacy. Why the hell they were keep about 100% literacy? Because they couldn't have hold the people in Kerala as employees. They have to throw people out of Kerala as a successful employees. 
Are you understanding? So they have to throw you guys out of Kerala. So that go out to work. Go out to work. That's why they focus on 100% literacy. It's a very simple thing. Because they don't have factories. They don't have lesser factories compared to a lot of other states. So people started to, they took a job, they became engineer, doctor, whatever, and they came out to some other countries for work. Yes or no? And they got fired from there. Why? Because now there are machineries coming, AI coming, every skill-based job is getting replaced by some technology or other. So a lot of South Indian people are today having lack of job because of that. Construction sites, colors, over. Where is a person required anymore now? They come and just fit it. You understanding now? So more we understand these dynamics. So why in Kerala, there are a lot of direct selling companies were mushrooming because of this. Because when they come back, they want extra source of income. Men were traveling. Women were doing. You understand what was happening? So you need to first understand there are certain states. Why? Because your geography doesn't allow. Nepal, the same problem. Because their geography is mountains. They cannot have factories. You understand what is happening? Your geographies don't allow industrialization. People need to have quick income sources. You get my point now? So there are these dynamics you need to start to accept. Are we clear? So, Indian government imposed Make in India. That's where they are happy. So, they brought Make in India and Direct Selling together. But they had a problem money going out of India. So, they wanted money to retain in India. That is why I said your product has to be manufactured in India. And then we are happy with Direct Selling. So, that more people get involved, more factories get work in India, more product get manufactured in India. That's how money will remain in India. You understand now? how? So, it's nothing to do with legal illegal. It's got to do with economy and economics you understand so just first get this in your head illiterate people are we clear huh how many understood what i just said huh samjha huh okay khud ko samjha samjha paoge next fear comes from lack of knowledge exactly i just talking that the fear is there in your head and heart because you don't know what is happening. You just go back. Well, I read this. That's it. And you faint. Next day, you read 10 appliances, you wake you up. You know? <laughs> Happened? <Huh? laughs> because you know, I give you always example. If you enter into the dark room, you are scared. Yes or no? And somebody puts a light. And then the room is bright now. Yes or no? Do you get scared of that room? No. So it is not the room that you are scared of. It's the absence of light that you are scared of. Yes or no? So it is not the industry of direct selling network marketing you are scared of. It's the lack of knowledge you are scared of. You understand? What creates a scarcity is a lack of knowledge. That is why we say read books. Then we give book read. Who read the book at home? Why? The husband is sitting. Are ah, you read? Colors. I'm just listening. Huh? Happened? Who's been victim of such things? The reason why I wanted educated wife so that she can read books for me. <laughs> huh? How many women done it? Huh? No, no. Okay. My wife done it for one month and my upline caught it. Said, you read it first. I said, okay, I will read. Okay, so you have to read books. If you read books, then you'll get a knowledge of this industry. Are we clear? So fear of knowledge, uh, fear of this industry comes from lack of knowledge. Next, perception versus facts. So I'll give you an example. I came in this industry. So people didn't have a problem. You know what? My, my first, we call it first circle. You know what are the problems they were saying? Why are you in this business? Forget the business. As in, there are issues, like level of issues. Right? The level of issues is completely different. It's not the industry problem. Why are you in this industry? You understand? So when I go and tell say, bro, oh, that's amazing. Let's do the business. Keep the business aside. Why are you here? <laughs> you understand this? So I have to deal with some different problem. 
ah, you are doing good job. No, your next designation is global head. Bro, only two years, then you'll get global head. Hello, wait. Who gets Emirates Airlines to work on? You are getting Emirates Airlines. Stay. No. Make sense? So people are convincing me why and I need to I need to continue to do a job. <laughs> you get my point. Now imagine why I came still here. So when I was talking to somebody, so I spoke to one of my friends. And I picked up the phone and said, like, hello, Ting Ting, da 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 da, I started business, da da da, and we just happened to chit chat. And uh, then I told her, she said, what are you up to? So I said, I started my new business in Dubai and I was doing very well, fantastic, life is great. She's like, hey, wait, what have you started? I told her, so and so, so and so, so and so, wait, 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 this sounds something familiar. Don't tell me you started uh, working with uh, you know, that time it was not direct deal truck unit and all that. She was like, you started doing that? I said, uh, yes, why? Oh, it doesn't work. I said, who told you? I worked. I said, you worked. Very good. When? Uh, just two years ago, I was working for two, three years. You know, two, two years I was working. I said, very good. Two years you're working. Mm, very nice. Uh, so I said, what happened? No, it didn't work. It didn't work. I said, okay. Two years didn't work for you. I asked her only one question. Her name is Trupti. I asked this Trupti, a lady, I asked this question. Trupti, you and I are very good colleagues, ex-colleagues, and we have been very good friends outside office. Correct? For almost more than 15 years, we know each other. Yes or no? Great. So when you you come in this particular industry, the first thing your applying must have asked you to make is a name list. Correct? Yes or no? Yes. Then I told her, did your applying ask you to write the name list? Like, yes. Did you write my name in that name list? No. If you have written my name and if you have picked up the bloody phone and you would have called me, I would have bloody opened 10 countries for you. 10 countries. So it's not that business didn't work. It's you did work. Yeah, that's true. Then stop spoiling the name of the business. After that, she told me, when I come into next Bombay, let's catch up for a coffee. I said, okay. <laughs> so what I just said, perception and facts. There are two, learn to differentiate. Because when you talk to somebody, you know, we always say, either the prospect will close you or you close the prospect. <laughs> How many people understood? You understood? Huh? She is laughing. I, I know. I have been victim of it many times. <laughs> How many people victim of it in many times? Huh? So suddenly you are excited. One day you come to association like a stone, right? Like what happened? Nothing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Nothing. It's all okay. What is? What happened? <laughs> no, it's all okay. <laughs> yes or no? So first, guys, understand this. Okay, so this happens. I have also gone through it. But thankfully, I was in association with my appliance 24 by 7. They gave me this clarity. That's why I can talk to you so confidently. Are we clear? I was not like you. I was also frozen for a moment. You know? <laughs> okay. So, so then, there are many perceptions like this. Okay. Second, people say, okay, uh, you lose the money. I said, how? How? I said, I asked a question, how? I, I love to ask my prospect question. When somebody asks me this question like this, no? I like to, you know, <laughs> like, oh, maza aata hai I, I like such conversation. <laughs> so what happens is, no, so no one, you know, now there is no one asking me this question. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm missing these people who ask these questions to me. So I like to poke. How? 
said, uh, I said, listen, there is something called receipt. Have you, have you got it? Yeah. Read that. What it says? Some money. I said, do you see the tax? You know, got deducted against some product purchase. Yes. So read the product name. Oh, there is some this, this, this product I purchase. So do you have it at home? So yes. Are you using it? Yes. Then bloody you done a purchase. In this business, you do purchase. Hello. You are a customer first. Do you know? Oh. With the product, you get a tracking center and that is how you become a distributor. Your money goes towards buying a product. And when you purchase a product, you get a tracking center as a combination. Do you know this? Oh, thank you. I'll ask my appliance. I said, go ask, please. If he doesn't ask, understand ask to contact him. I will explain him. So the point here is people don't know. It's a product purchase. Yes or no? Simple. You just say, no, you're not investing money. It's a purchase. You're purchasing some finance. It's a capacity, capacity of generating turnover. We'll talk about it. How your capacity is defined with the money that you put in. Correct? Along with that, you get few other things. We'll talk about it. That's it. Person comes for the closing. You're in the closing. You explain there's a product. There's a tracking center. Product is going to come to your house. Money is with you. Money is not gone anywhere. 100% money is in your hand by purchasing a product. Along with the product, you are getting business opportunity that comes in the form of tracking center. Tracking center helps you make so much, so much money. Simple. You can make 20,000 US dollars in a week, multiply into 52 weeks. You can make 1 million dollars. That's a profit potential per tracking center. Done. No, I cannot explain this. Let the plan talk. Then there's a problem with you, no? Yes or no? Then there's a problem with you. Are we clear? So, get my point, guys. One person can be stupid. Thousands of people can't be stupid, right? Next. So, 100% legal and ethical industry. Go to next. So, again, Bill Clinton, uh, sorry, forget Bill Clinton. First, we'll talk about Bill Gates. Bill Gates basically talk about his own experience. Now, why did he add the statement of this industry has been his preferred choice? He says, if I had to start again, I will choose this industry because he understood him gone through a traditional businessman. He set up his factories. He set up his offices. He knows that what is having employees. He knows this is a more profitable compared to starting a traditional business. So if he makes a statement that I would love to be part of this industry, if at all I have to start all over again, because this is the only industry make fastest money. If he says, and if your neighbor says, who will you will choose to listen? The person who made 5 crore you listen, or person who know, have no money you listen. So you have a choice to listen in the world. Who you are listening to? My wife said this. Has your wife made 5 crore? No. When it comes to making money, you need to know who are you listening to. My father-in-law said, great. Tell him, send 5 crore to me. Either let me make 5 crore. Yes or no? Simple. Are we clear? Next. If Warren Buffett, the guy who makes one tweet, one tweet, and the market goes up and the market goes down, that's the power he holds today in the market. You know that, right? His one tweet cost millions of money. And that guy says, this is the best investment I have ever made. That's his public statement. Next. Next. Robert Kiyosaki, he said, this is the only industry with a low financial, low financial commitment. It gives you income generating asset. Meaning, by putting literally 20,000, 22,000 dirham, you can hold four to five to six, seven tracking center and it can help you buy villa in Dubai. That's what exactly what he said. With low financial commitment, you can have an income generating asset. Are you understanding? Have we bought houses? Okay, she's seeing photo. <laughs> okay. So have we basically, okay. have we basically bought assets? Yes. Do we have investments right now in the market? Yes. Where did the money come from? From CPA. 
from the where the CPM money comes from, what tracking center? How much tracking center cost you? 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 40,000, that's it, Halas. With that, you buy bloody 5, 5, 6, 6 million assets in Dubai. This is what exactly Robert Kiyosaki said. When I came, I read that statement. Today is true for me. I believe in this statement. Trust me, I believed in this statement. And it's true for me today. Are we clear? Next. So what, what Bill Clinton had to say? This, this industry basically is one which really helps economy because it creates maximum taxpayers. Simple. If you are basically working in this industry, you are in a way creating direct indirect taxes to the government. You know that, right? VAX and all that you have paid already. Yes or no? Simple. You have created taxes by coming in this industry. So government is happy with you. Next. Bob Proctor, God bless his cell, is no more. But he said exactly, if you are the hardworking employee and you crib about getting more salary, you come, no? I work 10 hours and I get less money. You say that in office? That's exactly what he said. See, he says, you saw, correct? What you saw is what you reap. It's not only about Niger. Niger marketing is the industry perfectly aligned with your true, great, exact what you are worth. So if you are worth, meaning you are hard work, if you are a hard working person, if you love putting hard work, put hard work here because it gives you as proportionate to your hard work. This only industry gives you proportionate to hard work, not your office. That's exactly what he said. Next. This is the truth. So where is the confusion? Network marketing is a process which can be used by anybody. So there are, previously, there are industries which used to use. So build large network of people to do money circulation. These are schemes. Build large network of people to sell goods and services. This is legal. You understand the difference? Where is the difference? Is the difference is between goods and services and money circulations. Are we clear? So what is the difference between schemes? That you call all the names. I don't even know what are the names that you keep talking. Okay. But they, they in general, either they have a product or they pretend to have a product. Are we clear? Simple. Next. So KPMG, Deloitte, all, all the basically audit firms have done in, enough number of research for this industry and then submitted the data to governments. And then basis of that, government creates basically a law. Next. Correct. Look at this. What they have to say? KPMG said this. It's not pyramid scheme. It's not chit fund. It's not Ponzi scheme. Direct selling is different from chit fund Ponzi scheme. The audit company says this. I am not saying this. Are we clear? Huh. First you have to understand. So they created this and given it to government to educate ministry. Hello. This is a legitimate industry. It's like a retail sector where you sell product and services. So let the people do this business. It's great for economy. It can generate a lot of taxes. Are we understanding? Go. Next. Wait. So they have to create now direct selling education. So direct selling education is even a Harvard University is now accepting chapters. They are not having MBA. They have chapters, meaning they have started to introduce in subjects of economics. Even Harvard. Why? Because people need to know now this is a next future. Are we clear? So slowly, slowly, in many places, it's coming. Next. India Shilini Institute is, is fully for direct selling, dedicated their MBA, PG diploma. Next. They have they have full curriculum, by the way. Which curriculum talks about prospecting, closing? <laughs> you should check. Yeah, it's absolutely eight basic building block. You should check their curriculum. It is eight basic building block, what Chief has given us. Okay, and you need to play, pay buddy some two, two and a half lakh, three lakh rupees is, is MBA for two years, something. <laughs> go next. So there are many governments. Okay, go to uh, go to uh, our, our this thing. <laughs> the no, no, uh, go to the um, uh, no, no, uh, the website WFDAC. Manu, just some technology. Okay. WDS. Yeah. 
So this is a website to refer. It's called World Federation of Direct Selling Association, where you see the legitimate of le legitimate industry. Okay, what you what what is what World Federation Direct Selling does is it builds entire direct selling together in the world. Go down. What they say? What is direct selling? Direct selling is a retail channel used by top global brand. Colors. So they say this is a retail channel to sell products. Are we clear? Next. What is also says? It's also an avenue where entrepreneurial minded people can work independently and build business. You understand? Simple. So this is for two reasons. Either you sell a product or you build distributorship. There are two things you can do. Are we clear? So it's legally you can either clearly sell a product to the person or you can build more distributors. You understand? That's it. Who says? WFDSA. Can you go to DSA? DSA website first. Yeah. That's a direct selling association of UAE. So they invited entire direct selling. All the global direct selling to UAE and had a huge event. You know, no? six months ago this happened. Play this. So there's a full event happened. I have a lot on you in the last one thing will remain that on the same thing. So, can you, can you go to the. So, you huge event did it. Okay. Go next. No, just stop, just stop. No, stop, pause, pause. Okay, go down, scroll down. Ah. I keep showing, look at this. Who says this? Direct selling industry is a testament of our vision to establish UAE as a regional hub. Who says this? Director General in Ministry of Economy, UAE. You understand this? So this is a DA, DSA, UAE. This is a government site. So who says this? Director General Ministry of Economy says direct selling industry is a testament of a vision to establish UAE as a regional hub. Are we clear? So well accepted. Do you know UAE government has created new labor law that apart from a job you can do anything else. You know that, no? So they are allowing us to do extra source of income. New labor law has been introduced. Do you know this? That's what you should know. So we are formally, we are acknowledged, we are recognized industry here by ministry. Are we clear? That's why we pay VATs to government here. Are we clear? Yeah. So now coming to uh, go to uh, go to our website. Yeah, that one. No, no, the D uh, drag deals. Yeah. See this. Go scroll down. Uh, no, sorry. Go up, go up. About us. About us. Click on about us. About us. Yeah. So you'll see here, uh, see this. Oh, scroll down. What it says? Direct deal United General. Uh, why direct in general? We have a company registered with Dubai Chambers Commerce Industry under commercial registration number so and so. And our office is in City Tower, Sheikh Jadrid. Yes or no? Are we clear? So first you have to know this. If you need proofs, there are enough proofs. Are we clear? So do you know this? Oh, you, I don't know. You. Now, today I will go and work. No. <laughs> today I will go and I'll say, hey, no chicken, no more biryani today. Okay? Today I will go and call us. I'll sign up somebody. Anybody has the IRID here? You have IRID? Put it. Go to, go to QN Europe site. Okay? Q, QN Europe. Okay, this is QN Europe site. Okay, this is European port, and I'm putting Dubai IRID now. Okay, Dubai IRID on Europe port. Okay, you can put it here. Any IRID doesn't matter. Bulgaria, it's okay. Hello, I want to register somebody in Bulgaria. Okay, you'll see our IR's name here. It works. See, it worked. Are we clear? See. That means you can officially register anyone in any country. You understand how to do that? With your IRD, go on Europe website, select the country, and you can now, this person with his IRD can recruit a distributor in Bulgaria. Simple. 
How simple? Have you paid for the website? No. Have you paid for the technology? No. Do you hold a trade license? No. You know how much trade license cost in Dubai? 40,000 dirham. Renewable every year. With compulsory office. Good. And you get all this free sitting here. In AC cabin. Huh? And you are sitting on a chair and standing here. I don't even really didn't even give me a chair to sit man. Look at these guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, you understand this? Huh? If you are getting this ready made, good or bad? So first, when you get something, just acknowledge and be grateful what you get here. Are we clear? Okay? Okay. No, uh, okay. You want to go on Saudi side? Uh, he wants to show Saudi side. He has opened Saudi also. Okay, very good. This Saudi website. Okay, go. Registration. Okay, you put in any country. Okay, you can go put it there also, right? Uh, put it here. Uh, enroll as a distributor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Enroll as a distributor. Uh, put it here. Oh, hello. She she agrees. <laughs> okay, see, again came. So you can re recruit somebody in Saudi also. So we are approved by religious law. Clap. Okay. Stop now. Go back to our PPT. Stop behaving like employees. Like where you need answer for everything. Entrepreneurs is not about this. Entrepreneurship is all about figure it out. You are lucky here that you are, everything is figured it out for yourself here. Are we clear? You are lucky that you are getting a lot of things ready made here. You don't have to figure out website, technology, licenses. You don't have to. You are getting everything ready made. So you make this, make use of it. Yes or no? Huh? So don't waste your time listening to others. Focus on what you have. Are we clear? Hmm? Hmm? The entire Europe and Middle East is open for you to grow. Forget Asia. Khalas. You are here. You are here. Think ahead. Grow Europe. Grow Middle East. Grow Africa. You understand? Huge. Huh. Next. So now you know why governments. So go next. Yeah. So, so I'll just quickly wrap this up. 18 million people to be you know, employed by direct selling by 2025. You saw that? Go. Next. India has direct selling now process 19,000 crore. Next. A direct selling market to touch about 64,000 crore. 2025. Next. India move up to 11th position globally. Direct selling aims to top 5, including UK. So UK and all there established. Next. Okay. So you still have a question. What is direct selling? Okay, shall so come to all that now. Are you understanding now? So, A, do you know well accepted by government? Hmm? It is growing. Fantastic. Correct. Now, what you need to first understand how it helps governments. So, every product that gets sold through this entire business, who gets work first? Factory get to work. Yes or no? The factory has workers. Correct. So that means if worker is getting salary, the worker is paying income tax plus factory is paying GST or VAT. Yes or no? Perfect. Now, when you bought a product, you paid VAT, correct? And you, in on your income, again, there is income tax. Yes or no? So four times government create taxes through one transaction. Are you understanding? Now you know why government is pushing this industry? Number one reason. That they can generate taxes through goods and services. Num number two, they get more taxpayers. So the first thing you need to understand, government runs on taxpayers. What is the government runs on? Taxpayers. What is the government run on? What is the source of income for government? Taxes. If government don't have taxes, then can they build roads? Then can they give us facilities? No. 
especially countries like Philippines, India, and all Germany, and all, all UK, those governments lives on our taxes. Yes or no? Correct? The reason why we have massive hubs in Germany for your and Europe entire business, because they want to grow Europe. Europe is going through a lot of economical challenges. You know that, right? They're pushing direct selling a lot in Europe now, so that every person gets work. They can generate a lot of taxes in Europe. So understand, because government need taxpayers. So AI, robotics, asking people to leave jobs. Yes or no? Minute person lose a job, what happens to government? They lose taxpayers. Perfect. Now you understand what happening. So AI and robotics is not healthy for economy. Where direct selling is healthy for economy. Have you ever seen government promoting, go promote AI? No, they say, go promote direct selling. See? Because they, and how the government will retain their political position, if people don't have jobs in a country, will the politicians will get voted? No. So what is a politician's first work? Create more work for people. Huh? Create more jobs. Create more work for people. That is why they push direct selling. You understand now? Yes. Thank you. Correct. So you should know we are healthy for economy. So if you built 100 team in India or Europe or Africa or Middle East, you are helping government. You are helping economy. But if you are a job and if you are a manager in the job, you are only making your salary. You are not helping government. Are you understanding? But in direct selling, you are helping governments. Are you understanding now difference? Because in a job, colors, it's only salary yours. But if you are creating more tax base for government, yes or no? So that is why governments are now welcoming this industry in more and more countries. Are we clear? Any confusion? Will you still continue to trust your neighbor? Auntie? Huh? Appa? Amma? No? Okay, thank you. So, you need to first get this because if you cannot explain this to your own husband, what happens? He will not be here. No? Happens. Yeah. So a lot of happen. A lot of people, a lot of people, they struggle to explain their own family. You know, a lot of people happens struggle to explain their own family, own brother, own sister, own parents, own husband. You can't explain. If you can't explain why are you here on Sunday and why didn't you, why are not in kitchen right now to make biryani? Okay. <laughs> yes or no? Huh? You have struggled to, you struggle to explain. Force him to understand if you need to have your own knowledge to explain somebody. Why? What are you here for? So somebody said, hey, what are you doing? I said, I am doing a very, I'm a, I have always said this in India. I said, I'm a proud citizen of India. Even though I don't live in India, I'm a proud citizen of India. I'm helping my nation by creating a taxpayers in India. What are you doing? You're scratching your bum, traveling by stupid Indian railway with cheap transport and sit in office, do your desk job and pay a very low salary. You earn a very low salary, so you pay a very low tax to government and you go home. I created three, four, five, six hundred distributors in India right now. They pay bloody taxes to India government. I am better citizen than you, bro. Kiski mother to tell me what you are doing. Yes? So you need to have answers. You need to have answers. If you don't have answer, anybody can bulldoze you. Are we clear? So first, you don't make money. First, you have belief. If you have a belief, you make money. I earn belief first and then I earn money. Are we clear? Right? Next. So I explain you what is direct selling. Direct selling. So let me explain you what is direct selling. Direct selling is customer is distributor. Distributor is a customer. Simple definition. Write it down. Next. So this is what direct selling is all about. 
go show what just go next you are bypassing the product taking product from factory to the end user simple that's what you are doing so you are bypassing so you get paid so three left right you know understood three left right oh that three left right no you know what is three left right can you explain me it's a first distributor commission you are taking warehouse stockist wholesaler retailer commission comes to you it's a distributor commission you understand product move to consumer directly without advertising and without traditional distribution so you get paid twice you get paid twice as a retail commission and a distribution you pay twice why so retail commission is nothing but advertising money and three left right is a distribution money you know this these are the two commissions you get here are we clear so you're getting paid for two things next so there are four types of there are four types of distribution traditional franchisee e-commerce direct selling you understand we are a most liberated form of distribution meaning traditional okay so let me tell you now i am a retail shop okay I am a retail shop. Can I go to the customer? No. I am a mall. Can I go to customer? No. I am a distributor. Can I go to customer? Yes. I have app. So the most liberated from form of distribution, a most lethal weapon, is a person with an app can go anywhere and do the transaction. It's more faster than a physical shop. Are we clear? That is what direct selling is. Everybody can be a distributor. You are an app with a person. You know, there's a new concept coming nowadays. Human ATM. Yeah. I met one guy who's working on it. Very nice. Yeah. Human ATM. You, anybody can come to and take money from you. Yeah. You, these are all, because they all are coming from here. They all are learning from direct selling. How people are doing it. People are learning from our industry and creating their own industries. And we are not learning our industry by being in an industry. Kya samjha pata nahi Okay? People are taking inspiration from here, building something else. And we are being here, not getting inspired. Next. So we are just a distribution. We are just a distribution. We are a retail store on our own. We have products. Anybody can text product from you right now. I can take her app. Right now, I can take your app. I can buy product from you right now. You know this, right? Hello, I can just give you a card. You can just swipe card on your app and done. In a second, you can do the transaction. You know that, right? Done. That's it. So customer is a distributor. Distributor is a customer. Hang in here. It's very important topic. Customer. So first, you need to understand when we come here, we buy a product. And you get a TC. You know that, right? That means you are consumer as well as a distributor. So consumer is also distributor and distributor is also consumer. That is a unique industry. Are we clear? Right? So people keep saying, so are we creating distributors? Yes. We, while you are creating distributors, you are also creating consumers. Yes or no? Are we clear? Number one. Number two. How you see the product get advertised? We call them brand. How? On TV? On TV? Yes or no? Huh? So direct selling industry trust consumer to promote the brand. You understand? So I have a two brands. One called aerated drink with a lot of sugar, with a lot of cola, a lot of caffeine. And I'm taking a celebrity to promote it. Will he talk good about it? He will talk good about it because the celebrity getting millions of money, no? He will talk good about it. Hey, here's a Pepsi Cola, amazing drink. Have it, have it, have it, have it. Because he's getting millions of money to say it. Yes or no? Huh? So advertising pays to talk. Direct selling, they say you use a product and promote a product. Yes or no? So more ethical is who? Direct selling is more ethical. They trust saying you consume, you talk is more ethical. Are you getting my point now? So product advertised is not ethical. 
the product moved to direct selling is more ethical. Halas, I'm not going to talk about it. No, you use your talk. Make sense? Simple. Next. Profits are generated through the product turnover. Simple. So even there are people, people are customers. So money coming through, not people, money coming through product purchase. You know that? That's why the BV is getting generated. Next. So you see two people. I'll quickly show you the difference. Two people, two people, two people. Okay. You made 68,000. Again, two people, you made more money. Again, two people, you made more money. So you see why you made more money here. You made more money here, right? Yes or no? Why? There are two people everywhere. More BV came here. More product got sold left and right. That is why new people, more money came. Yes or no? So more money doesn't come because of more people. More money come because of more product gets sold. That is legitimate direct selling. You understand now? Are we clear? So more money is generated by more products sold. You understand? Not by getting more people. Next. Now, upline making money or topper make money. The people on top make money. No, people on top doesn't make money. He is a person on top. He done 7,000 VV transaction on one side. And a person who is a downline. Yes or no? He done 21 left, 21 right. Who is making more money? Downline making more money. That is a legitimate direct selling. Anybody can make more money. You understand? Simple, simple these things. So if somebody says, oh, you yeah, but it's like that. No, where the top people? And you go and listen to that person more. Have your brain in place, Baba. So don't just get, become a victim of... Because see, you have 500 name list. Yes or no? First, you need to know you will be having 50 people signing up. 450 people will eat your head on some stupid things. Yes or no? More clear? Next. So, what is brand? A lot of prospects ask you. Oh, you don't have brand. I said, do you know what is brand? Do you know what is brand? Show me. What is the brand? Go next. Brand is overly advertised product with customers' money. Do you understand this? What is it? Overly advertised product with customers' money. You didn't understand this. Okay. So there is a brand. So bag manufacturing cost is 10 dirham. And then I charge you 50 dirham to advertise the bag, handbag. Yes or no? So I took your money and showed you the handbag. And you're like, wow, this is a brand. Whose money? Your money. You understand what is brand? The brand takes money from your own pocket and show you the ad and you call it a brand. Pepsi, the manufacturing cost might be a 50 fill. They sell you for 5 dirham, for example. They take 4.5 dirham from you just to do the advertising. And you get impressed and you call it a brand. You understand this? It's your own money to use to show you the ad and you think it's a brand. It's very simple. Who want to advertise product? Me. I don't have money. I will take your money. Give me the more money, I'll advertise. And then you should believe that I'm a good product. For what? By paying you extra money, are you getting more services? So if Pepsi can was not advertised, the Pepsi taste will change. Pepsi taste will change. If Katrina advertises, Pepsi will become more sweeter. Huh? Oh, Pepsi is a Pepsi. It will taste the same with advertising, without advertising. But why are you paying extra for it? Because they want to advertise. So that means if you are spending 5,000 dirham buying products every month, the worth value of those products is only 1,000 dirham. 
फोर थाउजेंड दिरम एवरी मंथ यू पे एक्स्ट्रा जस्ट फॉर एडवर्टाइजिंग प्रमोशन एंड ओवर हेड्स आई रिपीट इफ यू एन यू ए दिरम इफ यू आर सैलरी टेन थाउजेंड दिरम एंड इफ यू आर ग्रोसरी हाउस एक्सपेंस इत बिल ऑल दीज थिंग्स इफ यू आर स्पेंडिंग फाइव थाउजेंड दिरम एवरी मंथ एज अ हाउस एक्सपेंस ट्रस्ट मी द रियल प्रोडक्ट कंजम्पन कॉस्ट ओनली वन थाउजेंड Max one and half thousand, but remaining money is only additional cost, like advertising cost, like distribution cost, like everything else. You understand this? It's crazy. That means you are more than fifty percent salary. You are just paying for the overheads, and it's hard on money. Are we clear? So stop saying when somebody says why there is no brand. I said you don't need to a brand. Brand is stupidity because they are taking your money and advertising your product. Are we clear? Simple. It's just a normal product. Are we clear? So this is what you need to first understand. It's your own money. So why you need a brand for what? You just see it on a TV. I'll take my logo, put it on TV. Oh, <laughs> big deal. Correct. <laughs> Next. Next. So real business goes beyond product. Now this is a totally different topic. You need to understand first. you must have heard something called consumer based creation you know so meaning you know amazon ha huh? you know amazon amazon sold only books for first 10 years how many books for first 10 years what they were doing only building customer base once they built customer base for first 10 years then they introduce all other products do you know this so they ask everybody to list out the product on them yes or no so what they build they build customer base agree and bank also build customer base which product salary account credit card and housing loans yes or no they build customer base once they build customer base then they give you insurance then they give you lot of other products yes or no so every business has a first entry product are we clear and from there you build a customer base and customer base keep doing repeat transactions that is where this money comes automatic you understand so most valuable companies today who owns customer base tiktok massive customer base instagram massive customer base so either you hold a product or you hold customer base which is meta business customer base customer base creation is more valuable business today not the product so we are using product to build customer base so we all are customer base you understand this clear and we built more customer base in many many countries and this is where the repeat transaction happen and repeat transaction continues to give money are we clear perfect so it's a first thing you need to understand when you come here we are building consumer base across the globe whether our entry product can be qvi or our entry product can be watches doesn't matter But eventually the RSP is our customer base. RSP gets into repeat transactions. Yes or no? Are we clear? Next. So look at this. Uber started just yesterday and they made more money. Next, Tata companies. They have hundred fifty year old company, four hundred billion dollar manufacturing to sort to software. But today Facebook, Insta, they started seventeen years ago, one point four trillion. They don't have product. today product have no value customer base have value you understand whoever holds customer base has more value not the manufacturing are we clear if you are if if i hold customer base today anybody can list out the product with me anybody can list out the product are we clear next amazon 1.9 trillion they don't own a product makes 1 million 50 per 50 second imagine that much money they make after every 50 second just by owning consumer base anybody can so now you should know next real business is built consumer base all over the world so now tell me who runs amazon owner or people people run amazon who runs swiggy owner or people who runs airbnb people or owner people run airbnb every successful business uber who runs who runs people uber people run uber yes or no 
Every successful business today is run by people, not the owner. Are we clear? You get people involved, they run your business. Yes or no? That is a successful business model today. You don't employ people anymore. You empower people by the commissions. Yes or no? You know this? This is a new way of making money. You don't employ anybody. You give someone income soul. Agree? Yeah? Next. Next. Which I pretty much spoke. Next. Next. So industry and growth. So you know industry. Next. So we, either you lose the money because of AI, you're losing your salary or direct selling pays 200 million commissions per day. Decide. Next. 183 billion dollar bigger than any industries. Next. Industry, 183 billion per year per day. How much? 500. Correct. Then 20 million. Then 50,000 per second. So every second direct selling is important. The most of you sit on your name list for years. Every single second the money is you're losing money. Every single second if you don't work, you're losing money in this business. Every single second if you don't work and hold on your name list, it get disappeared, it get touched. Are we clear? So more you sit on it is more you wasting time because this industry grows every second. Are we clear? So this is where a lot of people do stupidity or sitting and waiting and wasting time for years. Why our appliance is 20 days and 100 days, 20 days and 100 days, 20 days and why we move fast? Because this industry generate turnover very fast. Are we clear? There are so many people are open to enter into this industry. More time you waste, you are wasting time. You are losing the opportunity. Are we clear? Next. Look at this. Top 10 markets. Germany, Korea, China, United States. Many countries are topping today. There are many are the, the best part about us as emerging markets now. Emerging markets don't have turnover done yet. So what is the benefit of us? We are emerging markets. UAE emerging, right? Middle East is emerging. We have a great opportunity to grow here. We are not grown yet. Are we clear? Next. Ah, there's a classic story. India and China population is same. But India has almost how much is turnover? India, go next. Look at this. India turnover is only 2 billion. It's not 1.52. Uh, now it's 2.2 billion. So 2.2 billion industry turnover and population is same. That means if China is holding 35 billion and India is holding only 2.5 billion, that means 33 billion business has not happened in India yet. It's not happened in India. 33 billion business is yet to happen in India. You understand? UAE the same case. Even UAE, it's not even started now. The best part about UAE is a floating population. What is the best part? Floating population. People come, people go. People come. That means from here, you can grow any damn market. You understand? Next. Your company monthly pays. How much we pay? Sapphire rank? I, I, these are the Indian figures. <laughs> 10,000 US dollars. How much Sapphire star? 10,000. How much is the platinum rank? 33,000. 30,000 US dollars monthly. So this is a monthly 10,000 US dollars. Monthly 33,000 US dollars. Diamond you pay 80,000 US dollars. Correct? And blue diamond almost 100,000 US dollars. How much? 100,000 US dollars. 80,000 US dollars. 33,000 US dollars. And 10,000 US dollars monthly. Monthly. Huge. 100,000 US dollars monthly is not a small money. Yes or no? Almost 400,000 dirham you pay monthly in this business. Are we clear? Next. Like if you are paying, you know this, if you are earning this money, you fall into 0.2% population. Who? 0.2% population. 0.2%. That means you elevate your family and put them here, right here, of a niche segment of the society. Highest earners. Your child goes to the Niche segment, imagine. Wow. You are, you, you know, the taxpayers, highest taxpayers today come from our business. You know that, right? Highest taxpayers. Come next. So, this is a very important for Dubai people. Huh? 
प्रोजेक्ट ए प्रोजेक्ट बी आई एक्सप्लेन वाई दिस इज योर सैलरी दिस इज योर जॉब दिस आर बिजनेस आर बिजनेस ग्रोस टू बिकम फोर फोर बिकम एट एट बिकम सिक्सटीन राइट हाँ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस आर योर सैलरी इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिरम ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिरम दो फोर्टी थाउजेंड दिरम फोर्टी थाउजेंड दिरम एवरी मंथ ये सुनो सो योर सैलरी इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू लिक बिगर देन योर कमीशन बिकॉज इज आर कमीशन इज थ्री लेफ्ट राइट टू हंड्रेड डॉलर्स ये सुनो एंड योर सपोज सैलरी इज टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स इट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू लिक बिगर आर वी क्लियर बट फर्स्ट यू बिल्ड अ सिस्टम एंड देन यू स्टार्ट अ मनी so so your so your system grows exponentially so two become four four become eight eight become sixteen sixteen become thirty two but thirty two become sixty four in one day sixty four and twenty eight become in one day so it happened to me also when I was in a job here I used to see my salary as huge and our business commission is growing and then I saw one day I waited for a few months and I suddenly one day two thousand five hundred dollar became suddenly five thousand dollars double In literally one month, and then five thousand become ten thousand dollars, double next month. You understand this? But I waited from that zero to two thousand five hundred dollars for more time. You understand now what happens? That is exponential growth. So for the people in UAE, you must understand you have to wait for that exponential growth. Like the water become vapor at that one degree. You know that no example? Huh? Water is to become vapor. It takes only One degree, but to reach to that temperature takes time. Yes or no? That's what I'm talking about. For you, so in our business, what is the critical mass? Thirty people. What is the critical mass? Write down. Critical mass. Thirty people. Thirty people is your critical mass. If you build that critical mass in UAE, thirty. Fifteen people left. Fifteen people right. Working people is your critical mass. If you have fifteen working people left, fifteen working people right. That's your critical mass. Then you get into tipping point. Fifteen becomes straight double, and that's how you grow faster. Are we clear? So your first work is to build the team of thirty here ASAP. More clear? Next. So this is where we struggle. Why didn't I never start a traditional business? Because traditional business is this: if I have hundred employee, I will pay. They will work with me for ten hours. I will pay them this much money. Yes or no? Correct. So I will pay huge money just for the hours they give. Yes or no? If today, if you build one thousand associates, they give four hours daily. You make four thousand hours daily. You understand? With a zero cost. It's a very simple calculation. End of the day, you can build system both ways. Either you pay someone salary and acquire hour, or you help someone earn money and acquire hours. Yes or no? System creation is fundamentally building team. Agree? Either you build as an employee, or you have it as a business associate. Business associate, you don't pay. Employee, you pay. Are we clear? Simple. So, which is more smarter income? More clear to you? Next. Next. So that's why Robert Kiyosaki said you built network. So next. So I want you to understand that is why you have we applying. So now I want you to understand, guys. Our business is not about anything else but duplication. Why doesn't duplication happen? Because ego. I come and I don't follow my plan hundred percent. And if I don't follow a plan hundred percent, I don't duplicate hundred percent. If my if I not learn how my mother makes a biryani, and if I didn't learn the recipe from her properly. how i will be able to cook it 100% yes or no so duplication is very important but if i am not willing to learn from my plan how i'll give it to my team yes or no so duplication is more important so most of us do mistakes here that we don't absorb 100% for our plans and that is why we fail to duplicate and you fail to duplicate you'll not be able to build a stronger organization so a lot of people come here khalas i don't need training man i can build 100 people like this you can bring people but you cannot build a team there are two different things building people just getting people and building system what is the difference if you have 100 people in kerala 100 people in dubai 
and he has a hundred people as a system in Dubai. What is the difference? What is the difference? No. You have a team of hundred people in Dubai, and he has a system of hundred people in Dubai. What is the difference? What's the difference? Meaning system, I understand. What is the difference between these people? They are also hundred people. They are also hundred people. Correct. I can get hundred people in Dubai, but these hundred people follow the process. What is system? People who follow process is a system. Hundred people work with the same process is called system. Hundred people come and just eat chai and go home is not system. You understand? So you can bring hundred people in association, but your work is to teach them the process and your work is to make them work in the process. Are we clear? System is not people. Are we clear? Ah, you understood the difference? And how the process get followed? If you follow the process. If you come to association time, the team will come in association time. If you read the book, they will read the book. If you do DR, they will do the DR. System is about duplication. It's what you do, your 100 people will do the same thing. Are we clear? So if your behavior, your so culture, so the process has to become culture. What is it? Write down. Process has to become process has to become simple. 5 plus 3. My plan might not be here, but 5 plus 3 is here. Yes. You understand now? So upline is not here, but 5 plus 3 is here. That means who's running the business? Upline a process. Process. Upline don't run the business. What runs the business? Are we clear? So if you want to become an upline, a successful upline, and without your physical presence, if your team has to work on a ground level, first you follow process, teach them a process. One day you will not be here, but process will be here. You understand? Gandhiji is not there, but he left the values. Our grandfathers are not there, but they left the values. What did they do? They pass on the culture. That's what we do. Are we clear? Eventually you will not be here. You will be gone up there. But your children will keep making money from your tracking centers. You understand? Because you passed on the culture. If you don't build your team on the culture, you are wasting your time. You follow culture, pass on the culture. So that is how your tracking center becomes a legacy. Yes. That is how your tracking center becomes a legacy. So don't let your ego come unnecessarily in between. Are we clear? Don't keep spoiling the culture in organization. If you want your TC to continue to generate money for your next generation without your physical presence, that means drill down the culture, drill down the processes, let the team grow on process. One day process will be followed. You are there, you are not there. Sometimes we come with ego. Hey, I got appliance, told me this. Let me modify it in my own way. You can modify it in own way, but eventually team cannot follow that. Some people try to show the plan their own way and team cannot do that. Team cannot duplicate that. It is not how well you present the plan. It is how well you can duplicate the plan. It is not how well you do the talking. It's how you well you can duplicate the talking. Are you understanding this? This is where the system get built. I am a regional director. I can speak very well English. It's okay, but there is no point me showing off if my people can't duplicate. Are we clear? There is no point having ego of corporate. That's why a lot of people from corporate fail here because they don't understand the science behind duplication. Are we clear? Hmm? I don't know how many people understood this. So don't try to be extraordinary. Do not try to be extraordinary here. 
if you are trying driving your business on heroism and extraordinary people you cannot duplicate heroism cannot be duplicate i'm telling you this correct you need to be one with people okay you need to be one with people <laughs> this is very important and that's why you need to spend a lot of time with VF lines because they have done it they have done it okay make sense mm -hmm. <laughs> so well uh, rest you know go next you all know duplicate best practice that's why we work with V and infinity very closely that's why we have leadership camps your work is to just get your news person sign up, help that person do 10 direct referral, put them in a leadership camp. Get the new DR, help that person do a 10 people, put them in a leadership camp. Leadership camp, leadership camp, leadership camp, leadership camp, leadership camp. That's how you can build system more faster. We will help you build leadership in your organization. That is how you build the system. Are we clear? Perfect. Next. Our company, our family. Next. You know everything. You know Malukuluza. She's a wonderful lady. She's a gem. She's helping us on ground level every day. Next, you know, our economic forum. You know all these things. I don't have to tell you all that, right? You said that's why you came here. So let's keep speaking. Datoshi, can you clap for him? He's a visionary person behind our organization. We have a lifestyle, life enhancement product. That's our strategy. What are these? Lifestyle and go back. Do you know this? We only focus on these two. Lifestyle and life enhancement. That's it. Next. That's why we have this four watches, jewelry, da, da 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 Next, correct. All our products, da da da. You know all this. The products are really good. They always have certain one thing that is really good, which basically extraordinary niche product. Each product has some feature which is extraordinary. Correct. Like for this particular water filter, no one has this water filter in the entire category today. Next, next, next. Man City, which is of course our family. Is connected with Manchester City. We are connected with Manchester for the past several years. Next. You know this, right? I don't want to tell you all these things, right? How many companies in the world have logo, F1 logo on their thing? You know, they have it, of course. We have Saudi Aramco. I don't know how many of you know. We sponsor Saudi Aramco, which is one of the biggest oil company. We sponsor their team now. Look at this. Next. Uh, we keep sponsoring. We, we sponsor a lot of unfortunate people like Chetan. Chetan is part of our team. He's a, he's a V ambassador now, also one of the famous F1 player. He's a product of Rhythm Foundation. Rhythm Foundation helped him. We helped him. Datoshri helped him. Today he's a successful driver who has a polio. The kid has, with a polio today is F1 driver. Thanks to our company. That's how we help people build their dream. You know, that's beautiful. Okay. Next. So we do a lot of those magical things. Go next, next, next. You know, I forward. They keep coming. We sponsoring. We won a lot of awards. We have apps. We have logistic system. We have everything in place today. And go next, 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 next. Yeah. So these are all the websites which I shown. So you get all this ready made, Baba. You get support system ready made. Next, we have Rhythm Foundation, who's everything. Raise yourself to help mankind. The entire money proceeding goes towards charity. Correct. So imagine all our products are vegetarian products. All are gold. That has been used. This is a recycled gold. All our diamond is ethically mined diamond. Most of our shipments are plastic free shipments. So we are a company who cares. Are we clear? We do a lot of charity. You have no clue the kind of charities we do today. Insane. So today you are part of something that is so beautiful. Are we clear? So welcome home. I'll see you again. Okay.